Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're on day 306 of Bible in One Year, and I'm going to be reading John chapter 3 and chapter 4. I just finished reading John chapter 2 yesterday, where I read about how Christ cast the buyers and sellers out of the temple. And thank you to everyone that's tuning in at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to watch the premieres with me. It's just a great way for all of us to watch and listen together. And I also just thank you all, too, that are watching afterwards. Um, I do appreciate all of your support and your comments. So, yes, thank you so much. All right, let's read. You guys go get your Bibles, that coffee tea, zip with me. I'm going to get started. From the New King James Version, the Word of God reads in John chapter 3, verse 1 through 36. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God. For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, Unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who was born of the spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, how can these things be? Jesus answered and said to him, Are you the teacher of Israel and do not know these things? Most assuredly, I say to you, we speak what we know and testify what we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended to heaven but he who came down from heaven, that is, the Son of Man who is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light, and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God. After these things, Jesus and his disciples came into the land of Judea, and there he remained with them and baptized. Now John also was baptizing in Anan, near Salim, because there was much water there. And they came and were baptized, for John had not yet been thrown into prison. Then there arose a dispute between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purification. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he who was with you beyond the Jordan, to whom you have testified, behold, he is baptizing, and all are coming to him. John answered and said, a man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is fulfilled. 
He must increase, but I must decrease. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. And what he has seen and heard, that he testifies, and no one receives his testimony. He who has received his testimony has certified that God is true. For he whom God has sent speaks the word of God. For God does not give the Spirit by measure. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. And he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. John chapter 4 verse 1 through 54. Therefore, when the Lord knew that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, he left Judea and departed again to Galilee. But he needed to go through Samaria. So he came to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied from his journey, sat thus by the well. It was about the sixth hour. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? And are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as well as his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered and said to her, Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst, but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst nor come here to draw. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband and come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You have well said, I have no husband, for you have had five husbands, and the one whom you now have is not your husband, in that you spoke truly. The woman said to him, Sir, I receive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, and you Jews say that, in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. And at this point, his disciples came and they marveled that he talked with a woman, yet no one said, Why do you seek? Or why are you talking with her? The woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city, and said to the men, Come, see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came to him. In the meantime, his disciples urged him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. Therefore, the disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him anything to eat? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Do you not say there are still four months and then comes the harvest? Behold, 
I say to you, lift up your eyes and look at the fields, for they are already white for harvest. And he who reaps receives wages and gathers fruit for eternal life, that both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. For in this the saying is true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that for which you have not labored. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labors. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the women who testified. He told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans had come to him, they urged him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. Then they said to the woman, Now we believe, not because of what you said, for we ourselves have heard him, and we know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Now after the two days he departed from there and went to Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. So when he came to Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things he did in Jerusalem at the feast, for they also had gone to the feast. So Jesus came again to Cana of Galilee, where he had made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had come out of Judea into Galilee, he went to him and implored him to come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will by no means believe. The nobleman said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, Go your way, your son lives. So the man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him, and he went his way. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, Your son lives. Then he inquired of them the hour when he got better, and they said to him, Yesterday, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in which Jesus said to him, Your son lives, and he himself believed in his whole household. This again is the second sign Jesus did when he had come out of Judea into Galilee. Well, that concludes today's reading. I want to touch on John chapter 4, verse 34, which says, Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Well, what this is saying is that Jesus lives to do the will of his Father. He wanted nothing more than to hear God's voice and please him by depending on his spirit to do exactly what he commanded. Well, if there's anything you took away from the reading, please do share. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and being here with me on Time with Tiffy. I surely hope you enjoyed today's reading. I said at the beginning, if Jesus Christ is not your personal Lord and Savior and you'd like him to be, that I'd have a video for you guys to click on after the reading. And please keep in mind that if you accept Jesus Christ into your heart as personal Lord and Savior and repeat this prayer after me, that there are more steps you should take going forward as a new Christian, to strengthen your faith and walk with the Lord. It says in Luke that when one person repents, that all the angels in heaven rejoice. And it's just so great to know that when your time near death comes, you know without a shadow of a doubt that your eternal home is going to be spent in heaven with Jesus Christ. And if you're already saved and just want to say, Lord, I messed up and I just want to turn my life around and do things your way, you can even click on this video and pray this prayer and repeat after me. And if you do not pray this prayer and just are interested in knowing more about being a Christian, how to have that relationship with God, please send me a message below and I can get you all the information and resources that you need. But yes, if you would like to accept him now, please go talk to him. Click on this video right here, pray the prayer after me, and message me so we can talk about those next steps you should take moving forward as a new Christian. And please join me again on my channel tomorrow and remember to do five things Hit the notification bell, share, comment, like, and subscribe to Time with Tippy. We enjoy reading books of the Bible, doing Bible in one year. You all have a blessed day, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Until next time.